What's up, pizza lovers? My name is Tyler, and I'm a product development engineer at Spark. Today, we're going to learn how to cook a Neapolitan-style pizza the Spark way. Neapolitan-style pizza is characterized by a fluffy crust, simple toppings, and signature charring on the edges, also known as leoparding. These characteristics can only be achieved by cooking a pizza super hot and super fast. Where a traditional pizza oven can take hours to get to temperature, the Spark Grill can get up to 900 degrees in less than 20 minutes with a high heat brick, which makes making Neapolitan-style pizza on the Spark on a Tuesday night a piece of cake. To cook Neapolitan-style pizza on the Spark, you will need a Spark Grill, a pizza stone, a pizza peel, a dough scraper or spatula, a high heat brick, a cooling rack, and some toppings. I'm cooking a margarita style pizza today, so I have some crushed San Marzano tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, shaved Parmesan, pizza dough, preferably homemade, flour, fresh basil, and olive oil. I recommend setting all of your ingredients out before you start the grill so you can get the most out of your brick. To set up your spark grill for cooking Neapolitan style pizza, begin by removing the grates. Put your heat spreader in if it isn't already there. Place your pizza stone in the grill centered over the heat spreader. You also want to make sure you keep the cutting board off of the side table since the intense heat can burn it. When you're ready to go, remove the high heat brick from the packaging and place it in the fuel pan. Close the drawer, then start the grill up by turning the ignition ring and set your temperature between 750 and 900 degrees. Once the brick is lit, close the lid so the grill can get to temperature quickly. The hotter the temperature, the less time it will take to cook your pizza, but you also have to watch it very carefully so you don't burn it. I personally like to cook my pizza at about 850 degrees, so that's where I'm gonna set my temperature today. It's been about 15 minutes and my grill is now at temperature, so I'm ready to start grilling up some pizzas. With pizza, you wanna move quickly and you wanna keep the dough moving so it doesn't stick. To keep my pizza making fast and efficient, I've set up three stations on my work surface the shaping station, the stretching and dressing station, and the loading station. For the shaping station, lay out a nice little mound of flour in the center. Start by using your dough scraper to gently scoop up one of the dough balls and place it on top of your flour mound. Be very careful not to squish or squeeze the dough as you will lose all the fluffiness created by the buildup of carbon dioxide bubbles during the rise. Now I'm gonna use my fingertips to lightly press those bubbles from the center of the dough ball out to the rim. Generally, you want your rim to be about this big as it will at least triple in size while it's cooking. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Sprinkle some flour on the stretching and dressing station and move the dough over. There are many ways to stretch pizza dough, but one of the easiest ways is to stretch the dough out by pulling and rotating it with an open hand like this. With Neapolitan style pizza, you always want to stretch your dough and you never want to roll it with a rolling pin. Stretch the dough until it is in the shape of a circle about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. Now we are gonna dress the pizza. Because of the super high cooking we do with Neapolitan style, you don't wanna to go too heavy on the toppings. Too many toppings can make the dough soggy and hard to cook through. First, I'm gonna add my San Marzano tomatoes. Next, we add the cheese. Finally, I add some fresh basil and a little spiral of olive oil. Now it's ready for the spark. Toss a little flour onto your peel and carefully slide the pizza onto your peel using your fingertips to gently pull the pizza. Bring your pizza over to your spark and give it a quick little shake to make sure the pizza can slide easily. Quickly lift the lid and slide the pizza onto the middle of the pizza stone. Try to be quick with your transitions to preserve as much heat in the kettle as possible. Let the pizza cook on top of the pizza stone for about 30 to 45 seconds or until the bottom is done. You'll know the bottom is done when it's nice and leoparded like this. Once the bottom is done, lift the pizza up onto the peel and close the lid while applying pressure to the end of the peel to keep it at an angle like this. This is a method we've adapted from professional pizziolos to ensure the top and the bottom cook evenly. Allow the pizza to cook in the raised position for one to three minutes after you lift it, depending on the set temperature and your desired doneness. Once the edges of the pizza have started to char up with signature leoparding like this, the pizza is done. After you've removed the pizza from the grill, put it on a cooling rack for one to two minutes before serving. 
The cooling rack allows the bottom of the pizza to crisp up instead of getting soggy while the pizza is steaming hot. After one to two minutes on the cooling rack, go ahead and cut and serve your pizza. Neapolitan style pizza is always best served hot, so get after it. I hope this video has helped get you on track to becoming a Spark Pizziolo. Please reach out to our customer support team if you have any questions. Have fun and happy grilling.